Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoodapot and today we're talking about looking after your live food. Live food is well essential to keeping many types of invertebrates, especially if you've got tarantulas or spiders because they require them to eat. But it's also really important to just look after your live food and there's many many benefits to both yourself and to your spider or other invert too. So in this video I've got a couple of examples of live food. We've got our very popular and common crickets and we also have some mealworms. I was going to have another example which were dubia roaches however the ones we got were too big to feed our spiders so they've been upgraded to a new type of pet and I'll be talking about the sort of benefits as, of keeping them as pets in another video. So let's start off with an enclosure for your live food. Now they come in those tubs little plastic tubs and you can keep them in there but honestly hopefully by the end of this video you'll be thinking it's not really worth it. These sorts of enclosures are just really inexpensive, they're much much nicer to look at, you can almost observe your live food, how it's getting on, make sure it's all okay and it almost become almost another sort of pet and the other benefit is these are reusable so you know there's nothing wrong with just once all your live food's gone, eaten up or you know and reach the end of its life you can just clean it all out and you can reuse it again when you buy them next time. They're, as I said, they're also very expensive. The current forever home for our Dubia roaches only cost me £3.50 on Amazon. And you don't have to keep them in something that is quite large like these, like the crickets. You can keep them in smaller ones. We just wanted to give them the biggest enclosure possible. Again, if you want some examples, they're available in my Amazon store and it's under the invert section. Having a sort of dedicated enclosure kind of puts you in the mindset of actually looking after them better, allows you to observe them as I said, and it just gives them more space and gives you more space to do things in there, which I'll talk about now. Another thing you want generally for your invert food or your live food is a form of substrate. Now, the cheapest and most popular types are Koya, which is like basically coconut husk, which most people use for many inverts, or you can use oat bran which is also very useful they're both quite appealing to look at they're both inexpensive and you can use get quite a lot of mileage from it for example with the mealworm enclosure we've got quite a lot of depth of substrate there which i'll talk about in a minute for our crickets we've just got i don't know a couple of centimeters there just for them to burrow a little bit or run around on and having substrate is really useful because again it's just more of a natural environment it's better for them and because it doesn't cost very much you know why not that leads me on perfectly to my next point. For your live food, you generally want to provide them a bit of enrichment. Now, the reason we've got substrate and such depth of substrate for our mealworms is they like to burrow. So just providing some substrate for them allows them to exhibit that natural behavior, keeps them happier and healthier in general. Again, for our crickets and for our mealworms and for the roaches, we have a hide. And you may notice even in the pre-packaged little tubs that you provide, they will be providing a little bit of substrate and some um, egg carton in there for them to hide in because it's just so important for them and it just keeps them a bit happier and from getting too stressed. Depending on how you want to keep your life in, you can provide other enrichment. You could put some cork bark in there and just clean it off after every use. It really it does depend on what you want to do. Now, arguably the most important thing you want to provide for your live food is food. And generally for most common types, that will be just off cuts of vegetables. If we're providing some vegetables to the birds, for example, we've got some carrot, we've got some leftover, we will save some of that so we can put it in for our live food. The better your live food eats, the better your invert eats, you know, because it's basically called gut loading, you know, they're gonna be healthy, they're gonna be happy, so that means your spider is going to be much healthier and happier too. A uh, spider in this example could be scorpion or whatever. It's just really, really worth doing and just not underfeeding them or starving them. And also make sure that you provide a lot of variety. If you have different sort of vegetables, you can provide leaves one day, you can provide a bit of carrot the other day, like in these examples, like we've got carrot today for these. Um, another day we might put a couple of um, lettuce leaves in there. It's all very good to vary their diet. And again, it's, it's another form of enrichment for them. Also, don't leave it in there. Once you've noticed it's start getting chewed up, it's getting a bit funny, take it out, swap it out, because it's much better for them and it prevents you having to clean the enclosure as often. Some people provide like jelly cups and stuff in these. Isn't very good because you're basically gut loading them with chemicals rather than something natural and it's much cheaper. Don't really see the point in that sort of thing. After doing a bit of research, it's just, it's no good for our parrots jelly cups. It's no good for our, our inverts, no good for our live food. We just don't want anything to do with that. Fresh out is generally better. Now the last thing you want to do when you're looking after your live food is just keep the enclosures clean. So that means picking out any dead ones, picking out any husks, 
making sure you um, clean off the top layer of substrate occasionally and just removing that food that's left over because it's no good to leave them in there and it just helps you keep on top of things. And even with all these points, because it's quite a long video, a lot of things are talked about, none of this takes a lot of time, you know. Setting up the enclosure for these crickets and these mealworms I have in front of me, which you can't quite see, just took us about five, 10 minutes each, if that. And we know that they're gonna be happier in there and they're gonna be a better food source of food for our spiders, but also they're gonna be just having a good quality of life in there because I feel that if I have any sort of creature, I want them to do the best they can until they fulfill their purpose, be it as a pet or be it as a live food. And I want these guys to be happy for as long as possible. So guys, that brings me to the end of the video. Hope you found it useful. Any comments, happy to hear from you. But in the meantime, do like, subscribe, and all the usual stuff. It does help the channel. But yeah, meantime, take care and see you later.